Hi everyone, uh, welcome to today's episode. Welcome to Yenga's Corner. For those who are joining us for the first time, uh, happy Easter everyone. I know maybe uh, you, might, uh, you might be with your families celebrating Easter. I just wanted to share reflection with you uh, during this Easter weekend, uh, especially on the role, the key role that women played uh, during Easter. Uh, we can find this in Luke chapter 24 from verse 1, uh, the story of the resurrection of Jesus. Um, we see three women who go to the tomb. Uh, they want to pay their last respects as they walk early in the morning. You know, there's the morning chill. They're holding tight onto their garments just to keep themselves warm, determined for their mission. Uh, there's women who lived in a society whereby the women didn't have much of a place. They were always kept in the back. They knew that they could not do much at this, uh, uh, in this society, but the little that they could do, they put it to, uh, to, uh, they put it to action. They knew of this man, Jesus, who now is dead. They knew of his compassion. They were always alongside his ministry. And they saw the good that he did everywhere he went. And they decided that this man merited or warranted a decent burial. That's why here we see these women coming back to the tomb where they had laid Jesus. Uh, they're coming with, uh, uh, with spices. They're coming with perfumes so that they can be able to uh, to balm the body so that they can be able to give a decent burial to, uh, to the body of Jesus. But something happens as they reach the place where they laid uh, the, uh, their Lord Jesus. They're looking around, something is different. And suddenly they notice that the huge stone that covered the tomb, the huge stone had been rolled away. And in utter disbelief, they go inside. And they find that only the linen clothing that had wrapped the body of Jesus was laid there. But the body of Jesus was no longer there. And these two men, angel-like men, they appeared. And they're asking them this one question. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? And this was really an important question. And they were still perplexed. And these men went forward to, to let them know, to explain to them that Jesus had talked about his dying and his resurrection after three days. And they remembered his words. How amazing that these women, even in their fear, even in their mourning, each one of them thinking individually how Jesus had touched their lives. They remembered, suddenly they remembered these words, that indeed he's no longer there in the tomb, that he was to rise again. And they took that courage. They went out. They ran to go and tell the world of this good news. They went to see the disciples, to tell them that indeed Jesus had risen again. You know, I don't think there's anything worse than death every time we, we are faced with challenges and all kinds of things we go you know what at least we are still alive but these women they were at their utmost despair because one that they so loved had died and they knew there was no other option they knew that that was the end but this is the beauty of the easter story it wasn't the end but it was just the beginning because even when life was at its end, then there was a new life. There was a new beginning. You see, Easter is about hope for the future. And these women, they played the key role to show the hope that we have for the future. Maybe you're standing in front of a situation where it's almost as if you're in the tomb of Jesus. Almost as if there's nothing around. Everything is dead. Maybe you think everything is dead, but Jesus is saying today that even in that death, 
in the same way that he was able to conquer death and come back to life, he was able to give life to that dead situation. You know, that was a time when there was no social media, there was no uh, Instagram, there was no uh, Facebook. But the message of the resurrection of Jesus went viral in no time. Because he used the one thing that was seen as a shortfall. He, he knew that women talk a lot. He knew that women are good at spreading rumors. And he entrusted them with this good news so that it can be able to go and go to the ends of the world. And from these women, they were true to their character. They could not keep that good news. When disciples were hiding in fear, they went boldly and said, you know what? You should not be in despair because he's alive. This is what I want to tell you today. That no matter what you have, no matter how dead that situation is, God can bring it to life. The only thing that is the end God was able to conquer it. He was able to conquer death so that the redemption can start for humanity. For you to be able to reach and to be part of that redemption story, you need to know more about this Jesus. That he's not a legend. He's not a legend like Elvis. He's not a legend like Marilyn Monroe. He's not a legend like all these big people that we hear about. They are legends because we can only remember their story. But Jesus is alive and he's real. And this is the Easter story. Have a wonderful Easter, guys. And as a woman, be part of bringing this good news to others. In a world of despair, you can bring life. Enjoy. If this has been a blessing, share it with others. And don't forget to check me out on my blog at yangascorner.com for those who haven't subscribed just hit the subscribe button to be able to get more videos until then guys god bless you